Looks like it's better bars now. Right. What's up, everybody? Blessings. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Give me some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. I am on the road right now. I'm not driving. My good companion, my good friend, K Dog Kevin, is driving us right now. So praise God, I'm a little hands free. But I've been needing to do a Facebook Live for days because I have so much I want to talk to you about. Honestly, there's so much going on and so much I want to release over you. But let me know where you are watching from. I'm almost in Albuquerque, about 40 minutes out from Albuquerque, praise God. Let me know where you are watching from. Give me some heart and do share this on your wall. Praise God. Two nights ago on Tuesday, we had a very powerful meeting in Mesa, Phoenix, Arizona area. People are getting healed and delivered. The move of God was phenomenal. And here I am, I'm ministering tonight with Pastor Song, somewhere around Rio Rancho, around Rio, Rio Rancho, all right, uh, around Albuquerque. And a Saturday evening, I'm also ministering in Al Albuquerque. Praise God, we're back. So Saturday evening, I'm also ministering in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Praise God. But today I want to talk to you about this angel called Shift. Because I encountered an angel called Shift in the last few days. And I believe right now many of you are in a season called Shift. Many of you are in a season called Shift and in a transitionary transfiguration season. But I encountered this angel the other day called Shift. And I knew as I encountered this angel from the Lord. And in a sense, when I encountered this angel, it wasn't just in my imagination, okay? It wasn't literally, but I know, I know that I know that there was an angelic presence of God. And I felt in my spirit, the Lord said, this angel is called Shift. And remember, whenever angels are released or whenever angels, there's angelic encounters even throughout the Bible, many times it is a theophany or a Christophany. It is a manifestation of God or a manifestation of Christ. And yes, different angels have different names. All right. Not all angels have Hebrew names or Greek names. Are you following me? Hophniel, Eliel, Michael, uh, uh, Seraphim, right? So not all angels have Hebraic or Greek names. But there are angels that even have English names, Chinese names, Latin names, Spanish names, all right? And that's just a little revelation for you there. However, a few days ago, I encountered this angel in the spirit and I knew it was an angelic encounter. And I encountered this angel whose name was Shift and this angel called Shift. As I encountered this angel right in front of me, I encountered this angelic presence called shift. And all of a sudden, I knew that I was in a season of shift. I knew that we currently are in a season of shift. If you're experiencing a lot of shifts right now, a lot of changes in your life, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. And I want to say amen. If you're experiencing shift and changes, transitions and movements, then let me tell you, it's because the winds of change are activated. And of course, Bob Jones, many times, encountered this angel called winds of change in fact winds of change is one of the names of an angel so if you're experiencing winds of change and so many changes and transitions and shifts then i believe it's because there's angels that are moving remember many times angels move before humans move okay and angels move also when humans move however angels move before humans move because angels have been released and sent and commissioned by God. Therefore, they move ahead in a sense many times waiting for us to catch up. But angels also move when we move. Praise God. So this angel called shift, I encountered this angel called shift, and I believe right now, everything in your life is about to shift. Your health, your wealth, your company, your associates, your association, the people surrounding you. Get ready for suddenlies. Remember in Acts chapter 2, the Bible says, Suddenly there were tongues of fire. Suddenly there were tongues of fire. Suddenly everything changed and shifted. It went from... It went from 
They didn't even pray in tongues, excuse me. But it went from praying in Hebrew, all of a sudden shifting to praying in different tongues and languages. God is about to shift you suddenly. Things are going to happen suddenly. And let me tell you, even for myself, I'm here right now in Albuquerque, and I'm in New Mexico. I just left Phoenix area this morning. So here I am in Phoenix and Albuquerque, New Mexico, shift suddenly. It just happened in the last few days. God just opened up doors. God just opened up so many doors for me in the last few days. Praise God. And when God opens up a door for you, it's not for you. It's for the work of God's kingdom. It's for the release, the transference, the impartation, the flow. It is for the release because God is connecting the dots. God is connecting you to the next thing. Can I get an amen? So let me tell you, even in the last few days, there's been a shift and I encountered this angel called shift. And I knew I encountered this angel. I knew it was an angelic encounter because of the presence. Because of the sense, the divine knowing, the divine gnosko, the divine understanding of God in my spirit. And because of what I felt. And in the wisdom, the understanding, the revelation that lingered and came upon me afterwards. And the Lord said, you are in a season of shift. And as I encountered this angel of shift, the Lord told me to tell you, many of you are about to experience these angels of shift. I remember years ago, I think uh, it was about three years ago, three to four years ago, in my church, in the, in the center of my sanctuary, His Way Life in Koreatown, Los Angeles, I discerned that this angel called Shift came into the room. It may be the same angel I encountered a few days ago, maybe different, okay? But I discerned this angel called Shift came into the room, and right when I spoke it out, I discerned it by the Spirit, and I spoke it out by faith. And as I spoke it out, boom, the whole sanctuary erupted with revival. Oof. The whole said the people responded like there was a notable evidence. Remember, I taught on angelology a few weeks ago. And I said, whenever there's genuine angelic encounters or visitations, there will be evidence. There will be natural manifestations. There will be something evidential in the natural. It will be evidence. It will be tangible. It will be real. Something will shift, will change, will be different. And a few years ago, when I discerned in the sanctuary, an angel called Shift stepped into the room, into the sanctuary, and I said it, I decreed it, boom, the whole place erupted. People started wailing, laughing, crying out. <clears throat> it went from dull, that was a poof, explosive power. And that's what's happening right now, people of God. Get ready for the angel called Shift. Get ready for angelic realms of Shift. Get ready for shift. Get ready for change. Get ready for transition in your life. What do you think, Ikeda? You keep looking over here. What do you shift think? Shift is coming. Shift Amen. is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. I receive it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Yes. He receives it. I receive it. Do you receive it? If you receive it right now, give some heart to life. But let me tell you, many of you are experiencing a shift. You're experiencing a change. And some of you, it's suddenly. Some of you, it's painful. Who am I talking to? Some of you, it's shocking. It's like you got punched in the gut. It's like you got slapped in your face. And you're shocked. You're still dealing with the shock. With the trauma. You're like, oh, what the heck just happened? What is going on? I am in a whirlwind right now. It looks like I'm just... I don't even know where the heck I am right now. If that's you, give me some hearts and likes. But that's what God's doing in this month of May. In the counting of the Omer. Come on, I'm prophesying right now. I feel the Holy Ghost. In the month of May, which is the counting of the Omer, in preparation of Pentecost, there's counting and there's a buildup. There's a shift. There's changing. There's changing of the guard. Changing. There's, trans there's transfiguration. Things are shifting in your life. For Pentecost glory. For Pentecost harvest. If you're with me today, say amen. If you believe and receive, say amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let me tell you, things are going to shift so quickly at the blink of an eye. You're going to go from broken to blessed. You're going to go from poor to rich, rejected to accepted, alone to celebrated. From chubby to study. From chubby to study. Come on. <laughs> You're going to go from uh, 
Look at that. You just ruined my flaw. Help me. <laughs> You're going to go from mourning to joy. Yeah, Lord. Amen. So that's your portion. That is your portion. You don't ruin it. I'm just playing. That is my portion, people of God. Get ready for shift. Get ready for change. Everything about you is going to change. I declare it and I decree it in your life. In the name of Jesus. Listen, many of you right now are probably experiencing some confusion. I sense in the spirit, many of you watching, you're experiencing some confusion, some sadness, some tiredness. Confusion, sadness, apathy, or tiredness, okay? I want to break that off of you because change is coming. Change is in the air. Everything about you is changing. It's all shifting now. Your name is changing. Your garment's changing. The glory's changing. Your reputation is changing. Your income status is changing. Your faith level is changing. Your location is changing. Your address is changing. Your zip code is changing. Your association, your friends list is changing. Your view is changing. You're going to go from the valley view to the mountaintop view. You're going to go from the skid row view to the waterfront view. Everything's changing in your life. And Jesus, get ready for the radical shift. So it's a radical shift. Get ready for the radical shift, people of God. Things are going to shift and change so drastically, so quickly in your life. Like a thief in a midnight hour, it's going to come. It's going to come like a thief in a midnight hour. Landry Skeet, the bass player, says hello. You remember Landry? Yeah, him and his beautiful family, they were there in Phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was so happy to see them. They have the cutest daughters. Cutest, cutest. I, was so, I didn't take a picture with them. I should have. But I speak life over you. I speak shift over you. Shut. The weather's changing. The climate's changing. The atmosphere is changing. The temperature is changing. Hey, hey, get a babosa. The air level is changing. It's all changing in your life. Come on, you need to prophesy. You need to prophesy the word of the Lord. You need to speak out the word of the Lord. It's changing. It's shifting in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I come in agreement with your people. And I come in agreement with this word that in midst of the shift and the change, you will not lose who you really are, but you will lose your old self. Hear me now. You're going to shed your old self. You're going to shed the excess weight. You're going to shed the fall leaves. It's time for spring time. It's time for new life for you to spring forward. It's time for May flowers. It's time for Pentecost boom. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the season we're in right now. And as I encountered this angel called Shift on this last Monday, my goodness, let me tell you. This angel of the Lord encountered me in my spirit, man, in my room. I knew it just all around me. And I knew that this angel called Shift was a sign unto me that we are in a season of shift. We're in a season of change. We're in a season where angels, ministering spirits of flames and of winds are shifting things in your life. Somebody say hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Let me know where you are watching from. And do share this on your wall, people of God. If you receive this word, say amen. Amen. Listen, tonight I'm going to be ministering on the Navajo Reservation, somewhere around Rio Rancho. And it's Saturday evening. I'm going to be ministering in Albuquerque uh, at Glory Bound Ministries in Albuquerque. And on Sunday, I'll be back in Orange County be back at Open Heavens World, and even Sunday evening, I'll be ministering at Ecclesia Global in Anaheim, California. And of course, next week, we have our incredible conference, right, in uh, Irvine next week. You need to join people who go next week. Myself, Apostle Chuck Pierce has sent in a video. Dr. Jolene Whitaker, Apostle Chasm Strickland. It's going to be so powerful. That's going to be next week. And after that, of course, I'll be in Hawaii ministering with the Twin Prophets. And then after that, I'll be all around, shoo, all around on Route 66 for the glory of God. The Route 66 revival. Someone say amen. Amen. 
Oh my God, hello, I am in a shirt. Glory be to God. You're in a shirt. Yes. <coughs> praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Like I said, in midst of this shift, you're not going to lose your true self, but you will lose your old self. It's all gone and it's all done. In Jesus' name, someone say amen. amen. God bless you, friends. Share this on your wall if this word blessed you. And once again, I wanted to share this word. I've been wanting to come on live, Facebook, literally for the last two days. I've just been so busy. But I'm glad Kevin's driving me today. So I have some time, opportunity to speak to you, to speak with you in Jesus' name, to greet you. I'm still alive. I know the devil tried to kill me many times. The devil does not want me alive, but I'm still alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my boot is still on his throat. Amen. It's called a curb stump. But I'm still here, and I'm here in New Mexico. One of the states, the lands that I love, the Navajo Nation. Praise God. Albuquerque now, and yeah. we're, we're going to go over to Rio Rancho and a few hours into the reservation. So keep us up in prayer. All right. It's going to be powerful tonight. Like I said, Saturday evening, I'll be ministering in Albuquerque at Glory Bound Ministries. And on Sunday, I'll be at two different locations, Open Heavens World, back at church, and then also at Ecclesia Global. God bless you, friends. Love you. Make sure you click the bell button to be notified whenever I come on live. Amen. Love you. Bless you. Appreciate all of your support and all of your love and prayers. Do keep me in prayer for the Lord's work and the gospel to go forth. God bless you. This is Dr. Ben Lim. See, see ya. Bless you.